this is the other thing I got for four bucks with a 75% discount because these were the last units. It's uh, still sealed in the box, but they wanted to get rid of it for some reason. It's a remote uh, outlet uh, switching things. Three of them with one remote up to 30 meters. Oh, it uses a battery. Is it included? It should be included because, uh, oh yeah, only the remote needs a battery. These get power from the power line, whatever. Funksteckendosen. Yeah, three Steckendosen im Set. Einthalten, whatever that means. And uh, yeah, here we get the information from the company that brought it here. Don't throw it in the trash, even though it's trash, probably because it was really cheap. And uh, here are some uh, specs for wireless powering on off of off of of electrical devices and lamps. Three sockets included in the set. Convenient operation via included remote control. Simple user-friendly installation. Yeah, the installation is always uh, user-friendly, but the pairing of the device usually not so much. Individually or jointly operable from a distance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm curious about, because these things, uh, you pair the remote to the unit and then it forgets after a power outage or something. Uh, Sometimes these are not very good. Oh, it says here in Romanian too, because it's not printed in Romanian. Okay. Does this have any more information? Yeah, I can't zoom in on that. I can't focus on that, I think. The bigger picture of the product. That unit. Oh, it has an LED. Okay, there's an LED. This one doesn't have an LED. <laughs> and here are the specs. So it's for indoors use only, 30 meters. This is the frequency. Yeah, most of them use this one. Battery, max power, that doesn't say much. That's just the outlet's maximum power. And the uh, European standard, 230 volts, 50 hertz. So let's open this up. Oh, it's not sealed. Crap, I thought this was sealed. It's not. Oh boy. Oh boy. That's a mistake on my part. But the weight seemed okay, so I bought them. Oh! <laughs> That's how you package things, my friend. Yes. You stick them one into the other. There is some manual here and the warranty, whatever. But for four bucks, I'm not going to return this. <laughs> yeah. It's a nice little remote. With a battery installed. Probably brand new, whatever. Here's the frequency. The company, whatever. <laughs> and please use uh, read the manual. No, I will not. I will never. Yeah, and it's a radio signal, whatever. It's not... Uh, it's not infrared. Okay. And I'll have to program these. Like that. Uh, yeah, there's usually a technique you have to use. Yeah, just the specs here. Okay. So there's a technique you have to use. Uh, usually you plug this in. And when you plug this in, then the LED flashes or something. And then 
you have to pair the remote to it. You pl press the number, the, some combination or something, and then they will be paired. So this will be the first one, and you accept, and uh, yeah. Then the first two buttons will control this one. And you have to do the same thing for the others. And in case of a blackout, it will probably forget. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, I can't take it apart right now. It needs that special bit. I don't know where I put it. The, with the three things. I don't know what it's called. Do I have it? Oh, it's here. It's here. Can I reach? Yeah, I can reach, but I need a screwdriver for it. To put it into. Uh, yeah, I don't have a screwdriver handy now. Just one of these. Can I undo it with this? Yep, yeah, it's coming. But my hands are really weak. <laughs> so, uh... Yeah, I'm gonna manhandle this right now with pliers and yeah, hopefully this is the way you have to turn it. Oops, oh it's just a box. Yeah, this is coming out really hard. But it's out, and uh, like most electricians know, sometimes you have to improvise. When your preferred tool is not available, you just uh, make up something. Use your imagination and hopefully not destroy anything, don't shock yourself, and uh, yeah, keep turning until it un undoes itself. Yeah, it's almost out. Oh, it is out. This one too. Yeah. Okay, so how do you... Yeah, screws fall out. Cowards. And uh, you still have to manhandle this to open it. And everything is falling down. I hate gravity. <clears throat> yeah. This is interesting. Man, everything is falling down. Uh, okay, so here's the thing from the inside. This is interesting, this is copper and this is just uh, nickel plated whatever I think. Why is this copper? Or just covered in yellow. So you can differentiate some antennas here, two of them, two chips that hopefully we can focus in on. So this is an HSQ or zero A three six A three A eight A T zero or T O and the other one doesn't want to say. I think it had markings, but it was wiped. Whatever. And this one is something more simple. MB10 or something, whatever. So seems like a really easy, simple circuit board. And uh, hopefully I will test it out soon in another video. Let's see the other side first. Oh yeah. It has a relay. 
that big capacitor as in the other device I just uh, disassembled and here's a heat sink for something yeah I don't know for what they put this here it doesn't serve any purpose here nothing is connected to it this piece of aluminum yep it's not connected to anything maybe it's for electromagnetic protection to protect the relay so it get, doesn't get triggered accidentally ah, interesting well whatever that will be in another video when I try to see how this works